Good morning and good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Good Morning Tottenham Away episode. It's a Tuesday episode. A very, very cold morning in North London. But it was very, very fiery last night in a Monday Night Live show. Did you guys get to see it? Did you enjoy it? Let me know your thoughts on, on last night's stream. If you didn't get the, the opportunity to see it, because it was, depending wherever you are in the world, it was a busy time. Head over to uh, Tottenham Away um, channel and have a look at the stream. A couple of hours, sit back, enjoy it. A lot of different views, a lot of different takes about what happened on Saturday. Have a look at it. Let me know what you think in the comments under that video. Really, we, I will be scrolling through later on this evening having a look at what you guys think. And if I can, I will try to respond to um, as many as possible, guys. Um, so, <clears throat> what? before I go on to speak about Ealing Jr., Samuel Ealing Jr., uh, very interesting player, guys, and I will get into that. I do want to touch upon um, some of what was spoken about last night, just to respond to one or two that I saw in the comments uh, that I didn't get to do so in the stream uh, and in the comments afterwards um, under the video. My questioning, because a lot of people have, 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 have thought, have, have taken it as me questioning Ange Postacoglu for two, like he doesn't know what he's doing, which is why I'm questioning, or, or, or like is it taking you after like X amount of victories now that he's going through a little bit of a... Um, a couple of games, a little bit of a, you know, two defeats specifically. Um, I'm now questioning what he does, and um, no, or, or even doubting for a minute that he's not the right man to take us forward. Stop, stop. Let me just say this: me questioning it doesn't say um, that he doesn't know what he's doing. He's more than capable. He's far more superior in what he does compared to what I, 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 what I got to say on it. Um, my questioning, guys, if I don't understand something, if, I, if something doesn't make sense to me, I question it. But that doesn't mean I don't value the person that's making the decision. It's just because I don't know where that decision, how, how he's come to that decision. Because I don't know it is why I question it. So I cannot ask him directly, which is something I would love to do, just so he gives me his take and it will make me, un for sure, once he responds and he, uh, and he gives his motives, I'd understand it and therefore I wouldn't query. But because I'm not in that report with him, I have a conversation on a light Monday night live stream, debate on a Monday night stream, uh, and even disagreements. But, it's just an opinion, guys, and and um, and I'm putting it out there because I just want to know if there's anyone else that perhaps thought the same thing, perhaps queried the same thing, or perhaps didn't query, it, does understand it, and doesn't question it. That's the whole point of having conversation, debates, etc. To 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 feed off each other. The way I'm speaking to you guys now, and to see if we're on the same page or if we have different views, to share those views. And then perhaps I can look at a view that perhaps I hadn't even thought about and say, do you know what? That's a, that's a valid point and I'll take it on board. And that's that's it. It's not that, you know, I am don't doubt for one minute, of course, Angie Postacoglu is far more, um, um, uh, uh, um, uh, what's the word, qualified than I am to make those decisions. I'm sure he knows perfectly well. It's just that we we as fans can only go by, um, or certainly me, I can only go by what I see. And and if I don't understand why the likes of Dyer perhaps started on on Saturday and why we've, we've given that the way we play, we play with a number 10 and with Madison not available and the only other one that we got in a squad that's available to play is Lo Celso. Why not involve him? Those are the kind of the quest where I question was particularly those two guys in the team. 
or why one was in the team when the other one wasn't and vice versa and uh, or you know that that's that was my take on it anyway if you guys want to understand a little bit more about this particular discussion uh, this is just a response as to where my feet, my thought process come from. But if you want to know how it got to this point, please head over to the Monday night live stream and head over and have a look. Um, and let me know, like I said before, let me know your thoughts in uh, in the comments below of that video. And of course, after you hear what I've got to say on this video, make sure you smash a like, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't really done so. So let's get into talk about Samuel Ilin Jr. So. Um, according to a report from the Independent, Spurs are eyeing a potential move for the 20-year-old as an option that could bolster the squad. The forward has a contract with just over one year remaining on it with the Bianconeri, while the two sides have good business relations following previous deals. The potential signing could pave the way for an exit elsewhere, as recent reports from The Telegraph claim that Richarlison is a, is a target for the Saudi Arabian club in January. The Brazilian forward has struggled uh, to hit his scoring uh, best with Spurs since joining Everton, despite stints as a centre forward and then left wing. With a spell on the sidelines and emerge of Brennan Johnson, an exit may be on the cards, while uh, which could see the possible replacement of Ealing Jr. Um, guys, Ealing Jr. Like I've got quite a few family members that are Juve fans and friends that are Juve fans, and I've spoken quite a lot about this player even before this report. Um, came out and Ilin Jr. is an exciting player. Uh, can play anywhere across the forward line, particularly if it, it prefers um, the wings, mainly the left. But he can also play on, play on the right. Skillful, quick, young. Um, played has played for England in the youth level as well. Um, he's you know born born in Islington, so he. he, he it kind of ties why we'll be looking at a player of, of that same. Like I said the contract's coming, um, is, is ending soon. 20 year old, he has all the makings of a Spurs player, also because he's young and he can go up in value as well, etc. etc. With what looks like a departing with Charleston to the Saudi Arabian League come January, I've then asked the boys, the Juventus boys that I, I know, and they've said, you know what. We don't know if he's going to go Spurs, but we can definitely see him leaving in January because he's simply not getting enough, min uh, enough minutes. Yeah, he's, I think he's taught in 12 games, he's featured in four of them, um, played just over 100 minutes, nowhere near the amount of game time that he perhaps um, he per would personally like. And he doesn't seem to be in, in, in uh, Allegri's radar. But the Juve fans do like him and they really value him. They think he's an exciting player and they can't understand why Allegri who's notoriously more defensive-minded manager, doesn't feature him. So, um, the probabilities of him leaving are, are high, and whether we get him or not remains to be seen. But, guys, in what I've heard from the, what the boys, the little I've seen him, he does look an exciting player, one that's got an eye for goal, as well as assisting. So, um, he would definitely uh, be someone I'd be excited to see at Spurs. Um, and certainly, you know, it would enrich in us in, 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 in that area a little bit more to have it, uh, you know, to have likes Kulizewski, um, Brennan Johnson, Ilin Jr., who could rotate, and then obviously uh, Solomon uh, when he gets back to playing again. To have those players in the back of the squad or available for the squad would enrich in us in that, that forward line um, for sure. Um, let me know your thoughts on it. Um, like I said, I'm going to dig in a little bit more in regards to Ilin Jr. But from what I've, uh, uh, the little I've seen of him and what I've heard from the the boys that uh, that speak so well and the Juve fans that speak so well of him and they're just frustrated that he's not getting enough game time, they'll be gutted to see him go. That I know. And that tells me that we might be on to something and he would definitely be a better fit for purpose than Richarlison has been. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And as always, forever always, come on you Spurs. The first game we look for, Robbie. Tottenham away. Tottenham away. Tottenham away. Tottenham away. When we got Tottenham away. Tottenham away. Tottenham away. When we got Tottenham away.